Hey, Rocco. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I don't have my uh, notifications set up here on this particular scene for the set of the broadcast, but I appreciate you. I was actually watching a bunch of your uh, <laughs> a bunch of your broadcasts over the last couple days uh, in preparation for this. Uh, not quite as clean as I want it to be yet. It's going to be a work in progress, but uh, I'm happy with what I got so far, and we'll see what we can do. Deed, as always, I appreciate you. We're going to be starting here shortly. Teams are just uh, getting the business end of the game done as far as first picks and all that. Watch for Dan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Fist them in the face, Dan. That's uh it's a bit much, bud. <laughs> Hey, I, I learned a lot from you, Rock. I appreciate it. No, for real. In fact, if you're around later tonight, I'm going to have some questions for you after I'm done with this. So if you could stick around, I'd appreciate the hell out of it. Welcome, Bull Moose Party. Welcome, everybody else. I lost audio to my headphones, so that's pretty neat. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Everything is going according to plan. It was working um, actually before I hit the start streaming button. And now, uh, yeah, now it just decided to not uh, not work, so. There's no captain. I'm in trouble now. Nah, you're good. You're good. So you can hear me. I'm assuming you can't hear the game, which is um, irritating as all heck. They are setting up the lobby right now. We're going to be starting on Alterac Pass. Looks like the bands were Towers of Doom, Dragonshire, uh, Battle of Eternity, and Braxis Holdout. So no uh, no two-lane maps, or at least no, not those two. <laughs> uh, Raka. Yes, um, we all feel bad for Dan's girlfriend. Or uh, rather, wife. Uh, lobby's not quite up yet, but uh, once it is, we'll jump in there and give you guys something to look at. My wife loves... Oh, good. Dan. Do we have to put a muzzle on you early, my friend? I have to figure out why my headphones just decided to stop working. I have no audio for this video game. Oh, here. Here's the storm. Output device. I want it to go to my headphones. Is that so much to ask? What division is this? This is going to be Div E. I will add that to the stream title. Thank you. A Mr. Emski. That's a real Emski? Is it at the end of the title? Now it's at the end of the title. I literally just did that. I did just do that. <laughs> um, 
I don't understand. I'm actually kind of freaking out because my sound just is not working right now. Why on God's green earth would it do this to me? What if I reset everything? Uh oh, that works. I prefer a ball. <laughs> no, you don't have to behave. We're not that way around here. Dan Rocca has cast a few of our games. Wait, I didn't. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's just see here. I think I hear audio. Oh, shit. What do you mean version mismatch? Okay, the good news is I got my audio back. The bad news is apparently there's an update to Heroes of the Storm. Maybe a surprise patch? Anybody? Blizzard? Did the two interns sitting in their closet uh, put together a new patch today? Working on their Heroes of the Storm game? <laughs> oh, the life of a blue, the life of a blue is a tumultuous one. Nothing works all the time. That's why he cries at night. All right, we're authenticating. I have audio. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, y'all. I think it's working. Hey, audio. Fun fact, a few times they've seen Team Lewis Tumble, I'm like, uh, this may be over the line, what do the other mods think? And the other mental rocket, if you think it's over the line. <laughs> then it probably is. Who is Eternal Blue? I am your caster. <clears throat> Alright, we're in the lobby. We're going to Alteric Pass first. If y'all can't hear anything, my game has it sometimes with client mismatches after restart. Yeah, I did. Thank you, Upski. Um, what we got going on right now is we're kind of in a hold. We're waiting for people to uh, do their bathroom breaks. Currently sitting in the lobby. Again, Alterac Pass. We had uh, Battle of Eternity, Braxis Holdout, Towers of Doom, and Dragonshire were the bands tonight. Uh, in later casts, I'll have a fancier, uh, fancier screen to tell you all that. But because I'm a potato, I have to tell you uh, every game. Who didn't know who I was? Um, who didn't I know? The uh, Beyonce Knowles didn't know who I was, unfortunately. Although, to be fair to them, this is my first cast. Um, this guy really likes to type a lot. I can hear, just can't see anything but the end of the screen. Yeah, exactly. I don't want you to see anything right now.
This music, ep epic AF. Nope, you're not supposed to. Waiting, uh, waiting for the draft to start. You can see me. Nope, you can't. That's the wrong one. Oh god. Oh man, I'm messing it up. Oh man. See, this is what happens. You, you threw a curveball at me, and then I didn't know what to do. So I just started mashing scenes. Alright, they're ready. We're about to get into the draft. <laughs> Mods! <laughs> my face is coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my face uh, during the game in a little corner, uh, kind of out of the way. Alterac pass. Hello. And welcome to the first game of the best of three series between Phoenix Rising Sapphire and Beyonce Knows. We have. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm Polish. All right. My last name, uh, well, it's irrelevant, but I'm Polish, and it's got a ski at the end, but I do not know how to say that name, and I'm going to struggle. Oh my god, look at all these names. Okay, I can do the. I'm pretty sure I could handle the name the. Um. <laughs> See, now PRS. Oh, and I got the team switcher on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. going to move you over here, and we're going to move you over here. Beyonce Knowles over here. Phoenix Rising over there. Um, so we have the Combinatoric, Mean B, Lysina, The, and Baubinski is the banner uh, for the Beyonce Knowles, and for PRS, uh, banner going to be the Boomer, accompanied by side piece, Miss Nugget, Atlantis, A-L-N-K-K-Z. Early bands, nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. You see the Johanna, you see the, uh, the Stukov. Arguably one of the better healers right now. And uh, the Anub and the Falstead coming out for PRS. Rhaegar is the first pick choice for the Knolls. Not surprised. Not surprised at all. After, uh, after playing against PRS personally a few times, I can tell you they do not like Falstead. I thought they were just banning me out. Turns out, they just don't like Falstead at all. In fact, I would argue they hate him. It's pronounced D. What are you talking about, Dembski? D. Did I miss something? Ready for action. Change is <laughs> we got PRS taking the bright wing. Globals, of course, very good on this map. Dahaka getting locked in for the Beyonce Knolls. So we have one global piece for each team. Tychus being banned out of PRS. Perhaps we see a Deathwing? Unlikely, but... There's always a chance. And they ban the Chogol! I love it. I love the respect. That's the absolute panic ban. But you never know. You never know. They're set up for it. This would be the time, right? This is where the Chogol would come out. Taking the full duration. We have Blaze and Junkrat coming out of PRS. Lots of poke with the Junkrat. Good point control. From order comes justice. Beyonce Knoll's gonna have to get a kill or two if they're gonna want to cap objective, because that Junkrat is gonna be irritating. Also, really, really good CC so far out of PRS. Encountered by just the sheer raw damage that Tassadar and Greymane are going to come through with. Both teams, good amount of CC. Good wave clear, which is extremely important on this map. It's going to be a long game. Typically, you play an Alterac Pass, you're going to buckle in, grab some popcorn, because you're going to be here a minute. This is not going to be a quick game one. 
and hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Going through the uh, switch phase, uh, my captain likes to uh, put me on healer and then switch it out, give me a nice little heart attack, really get the juices pumping before the game. But it doesn't look like uh, we're going to see anything crazy here, no crazy swaps. Game one. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Hello, everybody. For all that haven't seen me, I'm Eternally Blue. Blue for short. This is the first cast I have done. Oh, no, the I got the names wrong again because I'm a pleb, actually. Can that stay? It's going to stay. It's going to stay whether you like it or not. We have the spray coming out. Who's your best friend? Any kind of uh, early game wall shenanigans? Nope. Coming out from right to left, we have PRS. Coming by Boomer on Blaze and Lannis on Hogger. Nugget on Junkrat, KK on Brightwing and Sidepiece on the Sylvanas. On the left-hand side of your screen, from left to right, we're going to have Beyonce Knowles, The, coming out on Tassadar. We have Bow Binsky on Dahaka, Lysina on Rhaegar. <clears throat> I don't know how to say that other name. Kamban... Kambanamanak? Kambanamanak? <laughs> On the gray main. And me is the Muradin. Let's watch everybody spin in a circle for a while. Oh, and we have... The first numbers going on the board. Hogger going in and out. The Knoll's taking a little bit more damage there early. The offlaners split up top. They exchange passing glows. Got three stay in mid. Solanus and Greymane gonna duel on the bottom. And we'll sit here in the middle and uh, and just watch it happen. Camp's gonna be up here shortly, so we're gonna see a couple people split off for that. It is crazy loud. I cannot even hear myself over this music. Okay. So we're going to see KK and Nugget splitting off to do their camps. Uh, the Knolls a little bit late getting to their camp, so PRS going to have a very slight advantage. Tank coming about him trying to get the gank on side piece. Doesn't look to be successful. He's just going to be down there collecting soak. You got Rhaegar and Greyman going for the camp. PRS already almost done with their camp. And we come to the very exciting part of soaking. Soak. Soak. Soak it soak. Looks like Atlanta's kind of winning this top lane a little bit. Of course, you never know when Rhaegar is going to, uh, you know, come up with full health behind you. Camp going to be pushing in from the middle. We'll kind of see how this exchange goes. Looking at the builds a little bit. We've got W build coming out of Tassadar. Totem, of course, out of Rhaegar. Dwarf block out of the Muradin. Viciousness from the Greymane and the Enhanced Agility coming out of the Dahaka. Good stun there by Boomer. Good opportunity to get some damage done. Almost got a pick, but not quite. Junkrat's just blowing them all over the place. This cast are not biased. Between the red and the blue teams? <laughs> I will try my best, Raka. Talent Tree's coming out of uh, PRS. Of course, the Hyper Shift. Uh, initially at one for the Bright Wing. Pretty standard out of the, uh, the Journeyman's casting there for Hogger. Big blow him up for the Junkrat. Sylvanas, no stacky stacky. And the neutral stem pack out of the blaze. Not a whole lot going on right now. Again, just kind of soaking. PRS got a good early uh, soak advantage. Taking care of their lanes and doing it right. Camp going to be up for 10 seconds of PRS. And Nugget looks like she's already ready to, to do it. KK rotating up to her right now. Everybody playing pretty safe. We have the first objective coming up. As Atlanta bops the Dahaka over the top of the head for one more time. They're on their camp. Looks like a gank's going to be coming down here on the Sylvanas. Or at least they're going to try. Sidepiece must have got some wind of this, though. She'd hide behind the wall. Very good. That is good comms. That's what you want to see out of your team. Looks like Noel's going to go right for the objective right away. Camp is done on a PRS. That's going to put a lot of pressure on that mid lane. That's going to have to be responded to. Dahaka digs down. It's going to be a 5v4 right now if Hogger's still on top lane. KK in trouble. Ooh, she gets out of that tongue range. Polymorph is down. 
Thank you for the follow, Venmo. All right, we have Atlantis on the long journey down. But what's going on down here? The wall comes out. Shift is going down. Blaze doing the best he can to stay in the front line and get the stuns out. And very undramatically, Beyonce Knowles just kind of takes the objective. Can't pushing mid that they're going to have to respond to, but that shouldn't be any problem with their wave clear. And uh, everybody just kind of goes back to their lanes. We'll see Solana stay on bottom to clear that. Hogger's going top for PRS. And uh, the other three are going to hang out mid. For the Knowles, you got your Dahaka going back up into your off lane. Everybody staying mid, and the Greyman pushing bottom. So nothing crazy, nothing that we haven't seen before here today. We'll kind of sit mid where most of the guys are and see if anything conspires here. Looks like they're not going to get much out of this. Maybe the gate. And not even the gate there. Augur, really, really good wave clear. He might get the gates. Looks like a big gate coming bottom. KK shifted down. Four bottom here. Blaze gets a stun. This guy's dead. Unfortunately, misses the stun. But not a lot of damage there done uh, by Beyonce Knowles PRS. Pretty much unscathed out of that. You see Nugget and KK likely heading for their camp. Much better time here out of uh, the Knowles getting their camp. Dahaka checking boss. That'd be a pretty pretty ambitious early boss, but always worth checking. So they're splitting up camp. Everybody in the lane collecting their soak. It's a race to 10. PRS got an early lead on that. Totem goes down. Good clear speed out of there. See PRS a little bit late uh, getting that camp. Just not as quick. They were there on time. Just didn't get it as quick. That's the power of a Grey Man Tassadar. Looks like they were trying to set up a gank, but uh, nothing uh, nothing came of it. Boomer coming down just to kind of cheer Solanus on. We got Nugget and KK cleaning the camp mid. Lysina the and Mean Bean holding down the fort mid as well. Tens are online. Good stun out of Boomer. A stun on the back line. And not much happening here. Hogger's coming down maybe to take this fight. Four against three here. Kind of a decent wave in mid. Looking to maybe take out some towers. The objective pops up again. Tassadar's wall is down. Hey, Hazard. Good stun there on the Muradin. Ancestral goes down. Tassadar pops his Archon. And Boomer's suddenly in trouble. Ooh, very nice play there with the bunker to get out of that. Good positioning there as well. Very well done. He needs to back up and get some mana. They are very healthy, and you are not, my friend. Nice little exchange. That's the first kind of team fight we've seen all game. Objective just popped up. KK shifts top. Camps are up here for the Balance and Knowles, and PRS just pops up there. <laughs> just give you whiplash. Heard. Heard, heard, heard. It's a fast paced game, Rocka. You gotta keep up. <laughs> Looks like we got a, a four on three here. Solanas and Greymane still fighting bottom, and the uh, the Blaze is mid, a little late to the party here. But if Blaze can get a stun on this, maybe they can get a pick. Good boop there by the Junkrat to get the Dahaka in the back line. He's in trouble now. He's got to retreat. Tassadar is uh, channeling. They get the objective. The wall comes out. PRS very healthy here, and Beyonce knows if I was them, I'd be walking out of here. No mana for their healer. The Hawk is just about dead. Do we have first blood? Not quite. Junkrat throws a couple Hail Marys, but unfortunately comes up short. And I think everybody's going to peel off here and do their camps. We have a moment in the action. Just kind of go over the alts here. Of course, we've got the Archon out of Tassadar, Ancestral out of Rhaegar, because what else would there be? Avatar coming out of Muradin, Cursed Bullet out of the Greymane, and Isolation out of the Haka. And then we have the Blink Heal for the Bright Wing. <clears throat> Shockwave out of Hogger, Riptire, and Mind Control out of Junkrat, Solanas, and Bunker, as we saw earlier, coming out from the Blaze. So camps go down. Everybody's just kind of wave clearing here. Side piece doing his best, clearing lanes. 
Looks like Tassadar uh, may be coming down to try to get a pick here, but again, good comms uh, coming out of PRS to let them know that gank is potential, potentially coming. Um, I mean, that's one way to use a bunker. We have a good stun, though. He makes up for it with a great stun, and Cestral has to come out to save the Murden, and, and he's still in trouble. His jump is out. He's got no more Avatar. What is the health that you see is the health he's got. Both camps mid, you got the two DPS on bottom, and PRS is still unbelievably healthy, even after all this fighting going on. Junkrat with a great bop there on Lysina. The stun comes out. They're just not focusing their damage very well, and it looks like a Selena and everybody's gonna be able to get away from this. Hogger needs to bop him back. The Hawk is in trouble. Great stun there by Blaze, and we have first blood, ladies and gentlemen. Nugget with the kill on the Dahaka. They are healthy, but they are low mana. Shift is going down. Good save there. Totem's down, and I think their uh, PRS is going to have to back away from this fight. As they are losing a 3v4 right now. Good bunker. Good stun on... Oh my gosh, this Blaze is hitting everything. But unfortunately, the Muradin bops him. Auger alone right now. The Greymane and Dahaka are back. Slavonis is not uh, not joining into this fight. They just keep fighting. It, it's, it, they've A-rammed in this, uh, this middle lane here for some time now. PRS looks to have lane prio. Beyonce knows capping the point. And Hogger goes down. So now we have a... Well, 4v4 now. Good Riptire coming out of Junkrat. Big damage going out. Lysina's low mana. KK also basically on fumes, but she's going in. She's blinking in. She gives zero Fs about that. Side piece gonna cap the objective here, and finally I think we're gonna have. Oh, I'm unfortunately no. Hawk is still dead, so it is a four v five. KK's out, gonna go for mana. She's gonna be able to shift back in. You see the Solana's clearing the camp mid. Lane Pryle still favoring PRS. Good damage there by the Hogger and Junkrat's just hitting everything. This is this is where you want to fight for PRS. You have so much. Uh, so much flash damage. And, uh, and Tassadar goes down. The bunker comes out. Everybody is running away absolutely on fumes. Lysina barely gets away. Greymane barely gets away. The only one that really took any damage there was Atlantis. And you have a very healthy 5v4 push here with objective. It looks like they're going to go mid. Oh, very dangerous rotation there. The Haka going down again. PRS playing really well. Good rotations. That is the Dahaka. I just saw the Hogger. I'm not very good with my words. Curse Bullet coming out and hits Boomer in the face. He's got to run away. Shift coming down. Good mind control there by Solanus, but unfortunately, absolutely no follow up. We have Hogger split pushing top. He's doing all he can to take that tower down. Looks like Bottom's going to clean up pretty handedly. I'd like to see everybody rotate down the PRS is 16 to take this camp now on bottom. Looks like two showing top. Hogger doing all he can to maybe take the fort down, but not gonna happen. Slavana's shutting down the tower. Maybe they can push in to get a kill. Looks like they're just gonna try to take this fort down and be happy about it. Or, or, Blaze going in. They're all going in on the Haka again. And unfortunately... Dahaka escapes for PRS this time, and now, now the alts are coming out for Beyonce Knowles, and they're on the hunt. But it's a 4v5 with the Greymane being top lane right now. Shift is coming down out of the bright wing. It's just non-stop action. They just won't stop fighting. Dab in the middle of the game. Ancestral coming down, bunkers out, and it looks like finally they're going to take a break. Everybody get some water. Take a timeout. This has just been insane. They just won't stop. They forgot camps existed. Greymane doing his thing top. Hogger coming back around. Got KK Nugget splitting off to do the camp. The and Lacina, or The Lacina, ha! Uh, <laughs> coming out to do their camp as well. It looks like Knowles is kind of setting up to do this, uh, do this boss down here. 
And on the other side of the map, looks like PRS is doing the same thing. That's a dab for Raka. Now that more people are in here, I'm going to have to make that more expensive. But it looks like they're just going to uh, trade bosses, or not. Side piece checking this boss, they know they're there, but they don't have a hogger. No hogger for PRS, but also no gray main for the Beyonce Knowles, and Beyonce going to back up and let them uh, leash this boss. Those chasing traps or junk rat will haunt my nightmares. I hate them so very much. Thank you for the follow spark, by the way. I appreciate you. Camp, they're pushing mid there from Beyonce Knowles. Not quite sure what everybody's doing here. They're just kind of hanging out, waiting for objective, killing some time. Losing a little bit of silk mid from both teams, but that's all right. All right. A little bit of a rotation here. They got a 4v3. Wall is out out of the Tassadar. A little credit to be on. Oh man, the stun's coming out there on the Emerd and Blaze is. Blaze is hitting everything right now. Archon comes out. Ancestral comes out. Avatar comes out. And they're just. Uh, PRS just isn't taking any damage. And again, the Greymane goes down. Beyonce Knowles on the backseat. And PRS is hunting them down, full health, full mana, and, and ready to go. They start channeling it. The Haka comes in, gets Polymorph. The Blink comes out. Big stun again by Boomer. He's playing really well. And I think we're going to see the Haka go down here. And it's a 3v5. Now, the only bad thing for PRS is that the... Uh, I do know that the team is our opposite. I will fix that next game. Sorry, folks. Beyonce Knowles going to take their camp. PRS capped objective, and now they're doing boss. It's a great call. Beyonce Knowles goes and secures the camp. Junkrat, big bomb coming out, but Mean Bean is on the point. He has set it up, and it's a steal. Beyonce Knowles gets the camp, and now PRS are in trouble as, as Junkrat goes down. They exchange with the Muradin, but the boss steal is fantastic. And with uh, Beyonce Knowles having lane prio on middle, uh, this is uh, quickly turning from what was an excellent lead for PRS to kind of a, a collapse. Really strong fight there from Beyonce Knowles to take that back, and Greyman's going to sit here with the boss and take that. You have the Dahaka starting the camp. Lane prio on middle, lane prio on top. The fort goes down there. And suddenly, Beyonce Knowles just right back in this one good boss fight. Dahaka and Tassadar are working on the objectives. Greymane is, uh, is online. Shooting them bullets out. It looks like Beyonce Knowles is going to get yet another objective here, unless uh, PRS can do something spicy, but I don't recommend it. PRS should still hit 20 here. A little bit before the Knowles, so they should have 20 as to clear this objective. This fort, a shell of what it used to be on fire. Apparently all out of buckets of water. And it looks like the Knolls are going to five-man push this top lane. And PRS is here. PRS is here uh, to defend. They're kind of stepping out in the middle of their lane, just kind of poking them down. PRS does have a lot of poke with the Hogger, uh, Dynamite Mines, and Junkrat with her bombs. But the Murden comes in, gets a good stun there. Blink going down. Oh my god, it's just a mess. Everybody's pressing R. Brightwing goes down, unfortunately. Giant, giant rip tire there from the Junkrat. So Boomer's low HP. He's running away. If you have to give, you have to give. Looks like Sylvanas broke off to do that mid. Same with Junkrat. Objective goes down top. Everybody's rotating to mid. It's a 4v5. 
Another stun there for Mean Bean coming out of Boomer. Boomer goes in with low HP. Not recommended. Good bunker, though. Trapping Mean Bean in and gets the kill. Not bad at all. A one-for-one -one trade, but Atlantis can't go down here. And he, fortunately, he is. They're clearing objective here, but unfortunately, a team died behind him. Beyonce Null's going to take their camp, and they're in complete control of this game now. <clears throat> it's a 2v4. They're going to take the camp, likely go to the top boss. PRS just has to do all they can to clear the lanes and push them out as much as possible while they wait for their team to come back. Boss going to go down. We will watch them in all of their glory. Two of them get hit by the boss. Really making their healer work overtime. We have the Grey Main tank. I think Grey Main gives zero Fs about taking any damage. Much to the dismay of the Rhaegar. And now we have the long wait to the next objective. Sit back and uh, grab some popcorn and just kind of enjoy your surroundings. PRS gonna have to clear this boss. They're doing a great job with this. If I'm Beyonce Knowles, I would have pushed with this. But they're doing their camp. They're doing the things they should be to get some pressure on the other lanes. But this should be a relatively free and easy clear for PRS. Pew! 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 Look at her arrows. She's doing so good. Cursed Bullet comes out and hits the Brightwing right in the ass. She runs away. Boomer starts to clear that bottom lane. Boss is going to go down without taking the keep. And Beyonce knows once again, cap an objective. Every time the objective comes up, it's been capped three seconds later by the Knolls. Really impressive uh, macro there by there. Mean B is super isolated. Stuns come out. Brightwing is getting the poly off, but unfortunately Lysina gets there just in time to get the double ancestral off, and she is full health again. Big stuns coming out of the Murrigan. The Dahaka gets the pull, and Blaze goes down. Junkrat getting some damage off, but it's not going to be enough. KK is low health. Murden jumps in on the back line. And unfortunately, PRS is on the back foot yet again. Nugget's about to go down. And Murgan takes care of that. Atlantis is running away for his life. KK and Side Piece retreat to their forts. How many FPS does Greymane give? I'm un unsure of that. Looks like Knowles is going to take this camp and probably take game one here. They're pushing top. Knoll's coming in. Looking to get a pick on the side piece. Blinks in. Taking a lot of turret damage there, but I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. All the forts are down. That is a weak boss. Good mind control there out of side piece to get to the Haka, but there's just not enough damage to stop them here. <clears throat> mean B being the gatekeeper to the boss now. And Beyonce Knowles is going to take this. GG's only. Unfortunate there for PRS, who were in control so much of that game. And they take one bad fight uh, at that boss, and it completely changed everything. You could just see the whole game uh, basically switch over to favor of Beyonce Knowles. Looking at the numbers here... You have the Haka going down four times, uh, but it, it just didn't matter. Didn't matter if he was dead, because uh, Greymane, the King Soaker that he is, also known for his dual uh, dual soaking capabilities, took care of that. Rhaegar a little bit more, a uh, little bit more healing than the Brightwing. Rhaegar didn't go down at all that game. Great game out of her. Lysina playing really well. Sylvanas did not die at all for uh, for PRS, but um, you know it's it's hard to say what what went so wrong other than that one that one play, one bad team fight. It's all it takes. So that's game one. GG's only. And uh, I'm gonna switch this back over to the uh, the starting screen here for a moment while the other lobby is getting set up. I will. Uh, 
fix. I see you, Dan. What's up? <clears throat> switch the colors for the teams. I will switch the colors for the teams. Damn you all. <laughs> but I'm not going to switch the colors for the teams mid-game. I don't want to miss the action, but I will next time. I promise. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm a little rusty. It's my first time doing it. But I appreciate y'all's patience in this uh, manner. Um, game two, yet to be decided what map. Um, they first banned Towers of Doom, Dragonshire, Battlefield of Eternity, and Braxis Holdout. No, Alara uh, Alarak. That's something else. Alterac Pass was just played. So, we will see what comes next. Here, we will do this. We will do this. We will do this. Whoop. We need to move this here. And this here. And this here. And we got to move Beyonce over here. I think they have a new logo, but I did not see it. So, uh, this is what they get. Beyonce Knowles getting the, uh, the one in this best of three. All right, there. It's fixed. We can all stop panicking. <laughs> but I appreciate it. No, I, I, I will miss stuff like that, so I appreciate it, everybody. <laughs> is rusty also first time seems sus no 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 um still yet to be uh in lobby so we're just kind of sitting here waiting i could have something like uh let's see let's see let's see i can do this i can do this for y'all uh we can put a text and the text can say the thing that i want to say but then Okay, so then I could say, waiting for next lobby, okay? So there. There. In case y'all wonder what we're waiting for, we're waiting for the next lobby. Everyone's OCD thanks you. It's funny how I actually have 10 mods and none of them are in here right now, so I don't know whose salary is getting cut, but there's a good chance it's going to be all of theirs. And am I paying my mods? I pay them in content and love, okay? And that is priceless. We are going to Infernal Shrines, unsurprisingly. Infernal Shrines, one of my favorite maps. You can macro, you can fight, you can do both. You could ignore the objective, the objective. you could just push a lane. All kinds of crazy ways to play this map. Um, but undoubtedly, the objective, the John Cena... Uh, you may not be able to see the person. You can definitely see that big-ass giant coming at you. So we're currently in the lobby now. We're just waiting for everybody to get in. Everybody having a quick bio break. PRS down 0 to 1 to Beyonce Knowles. Where's your face with the commentary? You know what? You know what? <laughs> you want my stupid face? I can get my stupid face on here. Thank you for the follow, Red Face Beast. Appreciate you, buddy. There. Ah! Oh my god, it's too big. If it's too big, you can actually see my face. Okay. Um, we're gonna go right here. We're actually gonna do this. Okay. Hi, folks! I don't want to mod it. <laughs> I don't want to be mod, so give it to Dan. 
he is he is the ultimate lurker so you know what there dan you are now mod you can ban winter whenever you want um you have a little changing of the guard here for the teams looks like uh, nugget is out and wrecked is in i'll just ban myself fun fact you cannot ban yourself out and you can't ban uh, other mods and if I want to ban you, I actually have to unmod you before I ban you. So I have to go through like two steps to ban you now, Dan. And it's just never going to happen. Don't do it, Blue. What am I doing? I've seen the stupid face. <laughs> Ouch. Uh. <laughs> it's terrific. Oh boy. Alright, so we got Infernal Shrines, like I said, coming up here. Uh, Beyonce Knowles leading 1 to us, 0. Just getting everything set up here. I think we're in the last stages of starting this draft up, and we'll get you over to a screen that isn't just my face. Everybody's asking if they're all are ready. Everybody seems ready. Game is starting. Emojis are coming out. The countdowns are coming out. Any minute now, I can switch it over to my stupid face. Hey, goodbye, and here we go. Boomer's got the ban hammer coming out for PRS, and let's see what goes down first. I have a sneaking suspicion. They banned the Tassadar. They really thought the Tassadar was super oppressive. I would have assumed the first pick ban was going to be the Rhaegar. But uh, we'll see. Thank you for the follow, uh, Kitten Mittens. I appreciate you. I don't have the notifications up, but I've been seeing everyone coming in today, and I appreciate the hell out of you. Thank you so much. Stukov ban coming out for the Baubinski, which I'm sure I'm butchering, and he would be right to yell at me later. <clears throat> or she. So Tessadar and Stukov off the board. Uh, they banned their own hogger. That's interesting. Atlantis is, loves to play that hogger, so he's going to be doing something else this time. And it looks like we actually have a couple uh, couple roster changes here. Vermoff is new for Beyonce Knowles, and then Wrecked for uh, PRS. Where's the sick RGBs? It adds 10 FPS. All right, Chad, I'm just going to go back to ignoring you. The Lucio ban comes out for Beyonce Knowles, and Johanna gets picked up by PRS. Um, arguably the strongest tank in the game right now. And Lysina gets the all-important Rhaegar with the Ancestral. Um, it's going to be tough to beat her. And the Anubarak coming out as well for the Knowles. Red team picking here. I expect we're going to see another Brightwing come out of KK here, probably as the next pick. And I'd be wrong again. That's why you don't guess. Dahaka coming out of Atlantis for the global, and side piece playing some Tychus. Also known as the Tank Melter. Hey, Coach HDI, cast games, yes, sir. I will dab when I have my camera back up, so you can actually you know what. No, you did this toast, all right? Your dab is worth nothing. I just dabbed, and you don't get to see it. Okay, that's what you get for trolling me. Also, thank you for liking my TikTok. Go like and subscribe and follow. Thank you very much. <clears throat> we have bands coming out of the Bright Wing for Beyonce Knowles, and it looks like PRS is going to take care of Sonia. Sonya going down. Unavailable for the Knolls. <laughs> he has a hard time challenging her without pressing all the buttons. I would agree. I don't really like a noob uh, into anything other than the stitches. I know he's super strong with the cocoon, but I just have a hard time engaging with him. I'm also not a tank man, so... Double Mage coming out of Beyonce Knowles. Asmodon with his basketballs ready to dunk on PRS. And then Jaina 
Um, just an incredibly strong mage. Um, maybe even overtuned right now. Wreck playing Junkrat, and KK playing Anduin. Anduin, of course, with that built-in panic button, and then the double panic button coming in later in the talent tree. So, Balbinski needs an offlaner here. I think I would like uh, maybe a Gazlo into this. Something that's a big point control. Or are we going to see a double tank? Maybe we see a Blaze. Ragnaros. Great wave clear. Super irritating to deal with. Good for the objective. A lot of, excuse me, mid yawn. A lot of uh, spell damage coming out of the Knolls and a lot of auto attacking coming out of uh, out of PRS. We got game two in this best of three. Beyonce Knowles leading one to zero over PRS Phoenix Rising Sapphire. Let's get to it. Bobinski. Bobinski. Bow what what was I saying? Baubinski? I was saying Baubinski. Bobinski. It's the phonetic spelling. Okay. I left that side of the screen and got Beyonce Knowles. Playing left to right here. And from right to left, you have PRS. The battle begins in Ragnaros. Alright, alright. Here's, here's the thing for all you new folks that haven't seen me. I don't pronounce things remotely correct most of the time. I say Valyria, I say Alrak, <laughs> I say the weirdest shit. And all I did all day was practice the names of certain things. Um, Galdun, of course, a classic. I say Galdun. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to get into the action. Less about me, more about the game. We're going to do a little ARAM here in mid lane. Atlanta's taking the soak up there. Good drag coming out of the, uh, out of the Haka. The follow-up by KK a little bit late. He gets to escape. And after scaring the hell out of Beyonce Knowles, everybody kind of runs away. Lannis goes top with the offlane here. Bobinski on the Ragnaros. Knowles collected Soak mid. And PRS already bottom clearing a lane and getting ready to take their first siege camp. Lots of damage going on to Mean Bean. PRS staying very healthy. Camps being taken. Jane and the Rhaegar, pretty good at taking camps. Vision here secured by Boomer. And they just kind of do their own thing. Oh, Boomer giving them the what for. He says, take that. <laughs> Wait till the team switch sides. No? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Dab. Am I losing my mind? Did they switch that? No, you guys are tripping me. I hate you guys. You're the worst. Thank you for being here. <laughs> um, Beyonce Knowles already on this top camp. I normally like to get this just before objective pots so they can push with the, uh, with the objective, but um, maybe just a smidge early. We will not be doing the Crab Brave right now, as I don't want this video to get banned. Lannis low health, but still doing just fine up top. Camps have all been cleared up. Looks like PRS was able to take this bottom camp here. They got three bottom, and they're going to be able to push us in quite a bit. Three mid for the Knolls, fighting a side piece who's keeping them at bay. We'll check in on our offlaners here. Lannis tapping. Objective going to be up soon. Looks like we're going to have a fight here coming in. Lysina getting focused a bit. This is when I like to be taking this camp and side pieces on it. 
Okay, okay, come to help out. Watch the Jaina? I will watch the Jaina. You really want to know what the Crab Rave is? The Crab Rave is a song, friends. You never heard of Crab Rave? Y'all in for a treat. And uh, just like the last map here on Alterac Pass, Beyonce Knowles on top of this objective, already getting eight of the monkeys down. There you are, Jaina. Too fast, boys. So we have a 5v5 Atlantis at half health, but zero fucks given. Going in, taking a lot of damage. But Beyonce knows bumping up. Oh, and the Junkrat saves everybody. Uh, unfortunately for the Nulls, a noob is not one of those people saved. First blood drawn by the Junkrat yet again. And now it's a 4v5. We see the Nulls uh, standing outside the, the window looking in. Blizzard going down trying to get the monkeys 28 to 24. Behold Ragnaros, here he comes, trying to get that objective cleared up. Asmodon with incredible poking ability. A noob dives in, good stuns there on Boomer. He has to pop his everything. Panic button from KK comes out. And PRS just needs one more monkey to secure this objective, and that happens, but Boomer's gonna pay for his life with it. Or, or, yes, okay, thank you for not making me a liar. So John Cena comes out. Luxic to hop goes going top. Oh, bad stun on Lucina. Good follow up there by KK, and the Rhaegar finally goes down a game and a half in. And John Cena's on the prowl looking for some more blood. We got three pushing bottom here, or pushing the mid lane to Haka still top. Johanna's just respawning. PRS losing a little bit of soak bottom, but um, oh, they just left it. They let the John Cena do their thing, and the PRS gonna go do their camps. Collecting some sword. I assume that is the Crab Rave link. Uh, I will allow it. <laughs> For now. Dab. <laughs> Lana's coming in. Uh, off lane. Uh, some off lane a noob there. Camp's taken out for this team's mid. We have uh, kind of a lull in the action. They're kind of setting up looking for this camp. Dahaka could come in right here and this would be a, uh, the fight would be over. But it's a 5v4 and Dahaka is not here, but a ton of damage coming out of Mean Bean. They're just front to backing this team, and Bean has got to run away. PRS incredibly healthy. Now here comes the Dahaka, misses the tongue, but I think PRS is going to be able to get this camp pretty easily. Or they're all going to stand and look at it. Great stun there on the Jaina. A stun there again on the... Uh, on the Asmodan, Junkrat's just throwing uh, hot dogs down a hallway here, quite literally, and hitting everything. PRS gonna be able to take that camp. The Haka went back mid to catch that soak. Tens come out for PRS first, yet again. They're able to get uh, Tens first. Light Bomb, Rip Tire, Isolation, Fall. Is that a Falling Sword, Johanna, again we see? And then the oh, uh, uh, Thor, Odin, rather. Thor is what the actual unit is called. PRS trying to take advantage of their tens can't quite get a pick there. Junkrat's got to be careful here on the bottom with this tank and Asbanan coming down. Yep, he's retreating well. PRS ready to collapse on Mean Bean here if they're not careful. Junkrat with a great boot behind and the noob is going to go down. Ragnaros gets the lava wave down mid. It's going to clutch a lot of soak. Yo, that's big cone on seven on Jaina. That's the one I tick. I love that one. We're just going to let them uh, come take down the wall here. Junkrat booting them away. The be For Beyonce Knowles, we got the Cocoon, the Water Elemental, Tide of Sin coming out of Asmodan, and Ancestral Healing, because uh, quite frankly, what other alt is there? PRS going to split up and do this uh, top camp here. Dahaka is doing what Dahaka does, clear soak and uh, come fight. Looks like Beyonce Knowles kind of knows uh, that not everybody's here. And yet again, they're set up for an objective here. 
They see everybody in lanes, they start objective, and they get to start clearing for free. Can we see all the talents when they pop up? Uh, is there a spe special button for that? Otherwise, I will pull it up here momentarily after this uh, objective fight. Mean Bean gets a stun on Atlantis. Everybody just kind of focusing the tank down, and it's been working for them before. Jumper coming out with the rip tire. Johanna going in, getting the stun off. The tire goes down. Light bomb out. Good stuns. Their Tychus is right in there in the thick of it. Ancestral down, barely saving the Anub. The Jaina gets away, barely of her life. But, unfortunately for PRS, although they did a lot of the damage, they got none of the rewards. They lost the objective, and everybody's still remaining healthy. Luckily, they got lane prio on top, and that's going to be giving them a little bit of advantage in that top lane. Joe needs to get back inside. KK with the panic button bringing him back in. KK gets hit by the Immortal. John Cena's going to town on her. And KK has to do everything she can to run away. Atlantis gets a nice little tongue there on the Anu, but is able to get out of it. We have Jaina taking the camp. That is a very spicy choice. But it pays off for the Jaina. Gonna do a quick show of the talents here. We got Wrath coming out of the Asmodan. That's kind of interesting. Master Assassin out of the Tychus. It's not something I see every day. Totem across the board there. Uh, E-Build out of the Rhaegar. Beetles. Making sure nothing crazy is happening here. Um, nothing, you know, trap build out of the junk rap. Johanna going the, the Q. Uh, you may absolutely do it a prediction. I don't think it's that lopsided one way or another. Control 1. Thank you, Red Face Beast. Am I able to make that smaller? We'll do a quick update on that. Light Bomb coming out out of the Johanna. Gets the stun there. Gets the stun. A beautiful combo out of PRS. And they have got Beyonce Knowles on the back foot. But Ancestral, uh, even after the patch, still pretty good. Does Control 3 do anything? Oh, God. Oh, God. Now I did something. How do I unlock? <laughs> I pressed the button. Uh-oh. Can I do that? There we go. Alright, control three locks. I'm, I'm learning things. Thank you guys. I appreciate it, Redface. Looks like Beyonce Knowles is going to be able to take down the first four of the game. Beetle's pretty good. Oh, how am I why am I locked onto her? How am I locked onto Gina? Get out of there. Oh, no. I'm locked onto the Jaina, and I'm, now I'm panicking. ha 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 ha. All right, well, I guess we uh, just watch Jaina for the rest of this. Until somebody can tell me how to get off of it. <laughs> uh, we got Beyonce Knowles going up to take their camp here. Oh, I'm not even showing everybody um, in the game. Okay. Here we go. Is it five? Sorry. Good lord. Now I have Fog of War on. I started pressing buttons. One, two, three hero locks. Okay. <clears throat> we have Beyonce Knowles on the objective yet again. PRS coming in. You can just press a different one to then it'll cycle through the heroes. But how do you show Light Bomb going down? Great stun there on the Johanna again. They hit the combo yet. Lots of damage being done to the Jaina. Jaina's trying to run away with whatever life she has left. And unfortunately, it's not enough. A great grenade coming out of there to the Tyka, stopping the Ancestral. And Atlantis down here dueling the uh, new 1v1. 
Asmodan getting huge value, just getting all the monkeys before PRS has a chance to clear them. If I have PRS here, I just want to run at them. And Tyka's doing just that. Thank you. Alright, we got everybody back. Cocoon comes down on the Johanna. PRS getting a little bit low here. They're gonna start thinking about retreating, perhaps. But it still is a 4v5, a huge dunk coming out of Asmodan. But PRS looks like they're gonna be, gonna be able to get this objective out. Red team has summoned a frozen punisher. Thank you, Redface, appreciate you. Rag hops in here. John Cena going to ham on that Ragnaros. KK tried to get the stun on the rag, but he's on the other side of the building. Frozen Punisher is uh, pretty good. Pretty good shutting off that tower. Uh, PRS just standing there taking it from Asmodan. Still a very healthy Immortal. PRS with Lane Pryo across the board. Big stun there on the Anubarak. He gets the Unstoppable. A lot of damage coming out. Odin's out for Wrecked in the Tychus, and he's just going to be sieging this wall with John Cena. Jaina finally gets her ice or, uh, quest done. But I think the Anub is going down here yet again. The Anub really struggling in this game. Boomer's eating tower shots left and right. I think PRS should stay here and take this tower down. I think they will. Oh, the root from the Jaina. And the panic button has to come off from KK. A great save. Beyonce Knoll's doing just enough to save it. I will, uh, I will take a look at that, uh, later, Redfeast. Thank you for the link, though. And now it's gonna be a race to 20 before the next objective. PRS has a couple of forts that, uh, are basically just sitting there like paper mache. A strong wind, a huff, a puff, and a blow will get those things down. Good macro here out of PRS, though. Getting all the lanes, getting their camps, getting lane prio again. That link is spectacular, legend. Okay, I'll take a look. Ragnaros doing irritating Ragnaros things. Boomer just left the game. Hopefully that's, uh... And we have a pause in the action. Which means I have to switch over to, uh... uh We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that so no one can get in here and see where everybody's at. Um, so 18, 18 levels right now. Looks like PRS is in control of this, despite uh, not having quite as many structures. Captain for PRS says we're waiting one second for Boomer to return from the dead. Um, so we will wait to see how he does that. I was using Replay Legend. Actually, I can take a moment to uh, to maybe look at this link. Oh, they're all good. Okay. We have a prediction coming out uh, 15 minutes into the game, so... Get those channel points. Make me do all kinds of crazy shit. Looks like Boomer, uh, Boomer's hamsters kind of took a break from running the internet. But they're back up and running. Their bottles have been filled with milk and they're ready to rock and roll. So, the R's have come out. Super conservative, yep. And we're back. Camp being taken by both teams. Both teams just hit 19s. We're gonna watch side piece clear this lane middle. Accompanied by her teammates. Game menu hotkeys advance under observer. Thank you, droid. And Boomer has left the game again. We'll see if that uh, prompts a response, and that's another uh, another pause coming out, and we will uh, go back to the ah ah this thing. And game's paused, and the game is starting again. Here we go. I'm gonna need y'all to <laughs> gambling. A 
Blue team destroys the fort. Looks like Asmodan took this fort bottom here. It was basically nothing before. Johanna's got some internet problems, kind of lagging in and out, but looks like they're just going to power through. Grenades coming out for the Tychus. Tychus go grenade build? He did. Oh, a good stun on the Anubarak. Oh, but the Unstoppable just barely saves him. Or maybe not. A great little bomb there by the Junkrat. And Anu's in trouble. Ancestral has to go down. The Jaina is got blown up. And right before objective, that could be potentially huge. A good tongue there by the, uh, by the Haka. But they're kind of fighting under least this Ragnar Assault. It's not ideal. If I'm PRS, I'm going to objective right now. So that's huge. So PRS gets the pick. Ragnaros has to kind of alt to keep their, their fort alive. But now they're not going to have it for this objective, and that's going to be a large amount of their poke. That, uh, that tide of sin, man, with an Asmodan, super irritating. Not getting a lot of value out of here, though. It's PRS to clean it up the monkeys. Another bomb goes out by the Asmodan, but it don't really matter. And it went too good right here in this objective. Atlanta's trying to get a pick, unsuccessful in doing so. I think if they can get a John Cena light bomb Johanna combo here, that could pretty much seal the game. You see PRS hitting that combo really well right now. Decent wave to their hero out of the Knolls, though. They know they're going to lose this, so they just give it up. Oh, but the Asmodon gets hit by the John Cena. If there's another follow-up stun, he just kind of dies. And unfortunately, there's no follow-up there by PRS. Beyonce knows holding this pretty well. I mean, they're not even... Yeah, they get it. No, they're not even going to get the gate? Oh, they got the gate. But a great hold there by Beyonce Knowles. Atlantis goes back. Jaina's checking bushes. Oh, no. Oh, they just let him go. Oh, and Johanna's lagging out again. That is just, that's, that is not a real Johanna. Oh, and now there is. And there's <laughs> the tanks, like ships passing in the night. PRS takes the bottom camp. Johanna just trying to get out of there. Internet connection not doing him any favors tonight. PRS, strong macro game, taking camps. I feel like we'll be coming up here here shortly. Come on, don't make a lot. I'm not moving the camera. All right, I'm not moving the camera. They're just gonna have to come to this spot. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll come. Man, Boomer is... This game sees level 26? Yeah, there's, there's a good chance. Welcome back, Boomer's really struggling. They might have to get a sub if this goes to a game. Game three. Ragnaros uh, alts bottom. Looks like we're going to have uh, some camp clearing stuffs going on up here in the top lane. Boomer gets into a good position. Make sure they have vision. Don't get caked. Vermouth just kind of cheering from the sidelines while his minions go out and do things. Wow, and he just let him die. Okay, Asmodan, you cruel son of a gun. This is the type of aggression you like to see. Now Ragnaros is in, you just back up and leave. There you go. Mean Bean comes out. And instead of alting in, they alt out. I think that's a good decision. You don't want to fight underneath the rag tower. How many pauses does each team get? Yeah, they get two. And I believe PRS used the first one, and then uh, I think Knowles did them a favor and actually paused the second time. So... Um, I'm pretty sure there's one timeout remaining for each team. 
And that's per game. Not per match. So we have the Haka clear on bottom, which is... I mean, what he has to do just to keep up with the reg. Clear. Let's see who's gonna step up on this objective first. Boomer clears the bush. Want to see Junkrat get a trap or two in here. Trap goes down. The Haka coming in. And there's the Haka. Looks like PRS. Ooh, gonna get a good tongue on the Anub right away. It's already gonna be a huge amount of damage done to him. Forcing the Ancestral out. Light Bomb comes out. Hammer's coming down. Oh my gosh. And PRS is just taking it to him right now. But Cena goes down. Jane on the back foot. Everybody has pressed their R's. I don't think there's anything left. All that's left is the Odin and the, uh, and the Cocoon out of the Anub. Good stun coming out of the KK. Lava Wave going uh, the middle lane there for the rag. Gonna get some pressure on that fort and probably take it down. PRS doing a great job at doing the camp here. A good tongue on the Jaina, and that surely is gonna be it for her. The stasis comes out, but that can only protect you for so long. Jaina goes down, and Mean Bean just has to run away. Atlantis has some great tongues here on the Dahaka. Ragnaros doing all he can to delay this objective as long as possible. PRS has lane prio on the bottom. Mid, though. Uh, they do... They, they will have lane prio mid the longer this goes. What are they doing? I'm not sure what's happening here. They, um... I don't know. They're waiting to do the objective. They want to hold it. And they're not really doing any camps, but they want to take this tower down first. Not a terrible idea. Alright, so they just wanted to take that down before doing the objective. I probably wouldn't have, just because their Jaina wasn't up yet. I would have pushed that as far as I could. But, we'll see if it works out for them. Totem is down already. You see Atlantis trying to get in there for a tongue. Let's see where this first jump goes. This first jump, if it jumps on a squish, it could decide the game. And the yeah, all right, very lucky there that Nick wanted the Jaina. A noob gets hit by John Cena. Everybody just kind of feeling each other out right now. The noob comes down. They missed the light bomb combo this time. John Cena doing work in the back line, and Jaina gets hit by the another uh, another Tychus grenade. And I think Jaina, yeah, she goes down before the Ancestral can come out. Tire coming out for rip uh, for the Junkrat. Doing some damage here. John Cena still at a quarter health. Another big stun coming out for him. They need to take this keep down at the very least. And it looks like that's all that PRS is going to be able to get, unless the John Cena can get another jump. And it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Oh, it did. But it goes down. They try to take this camp with the Jaina down. Not a terrible idea. Three pauses per game, lasting no longer than 10 minutes total. Thank you, Delta Sniper. I, um... I don't... Hmm. I must not have read that. I read a lot of things, and I thought it was only two. But maybe that was last season. So now we have the exciting part of the game where everybody uh, avoids each other and does the camps. So you'll see PRS taking all the camps. You'll see uh, Beyonce Knoll staying way away from them. Um, and it looks like... I think because they know that everybody's bottom lane that they're going to be able to take this fort for free. Oh, this is risky. Why would you do this? Oh, no. They're there. They're just going to go do it. And Jane is so far behind. This could just end the game. They're gonna. They're, this is the way I lose my games on this camp. It's a four v five right now. It's not worth it. Oh, Beyonce Knowles. Ancestral doesn't have enough time to go out. And just like that, they're down a tank. And thanks to the Knowles, PRS gets a free camp. And now they're looking to run at him. 
Looking for a tongue and a swing and a miss. Looks like Shaquille Onito shooting free throws out there on that one. Ragnaros getting in there. Gonna get a big stun on everybody. Really don't want to be fighting under this tower. Jaina doing a ton of damage to Atlantis. But they have lane prio everywhere. They kind of want this fight to last a while. They got a camp pushing bottom. They got lane prio uh, in mid as well. And who gets the third pause? This isn't a boot like in the NFL. Yeah, if you get two pause. <laughs> uh, Jaina gets hit again. and I think Jaina's going to go down here. Let's see if the grenade comes out to finish her off. Light bomb coming out. Hits the ray uh hits the Rhaegar. And I think PRS could end this. Not quite. This needs to be a decisive decision on whether or not to go. The cocoon comes out on the Joe. Atlanta's taking a ton of damage. Safer call here maybe to go for the objective. It looked like they were kind of hemming and hawing about the decision. If they decided to just go, they could have went. The tower was down, and they were on the back foot. <clears throat> Boomer in a really good position. Actually, all, everybody in a really good position. They want to take this fight. And they catch the Rhaegar. A great tongue there coming out of the stuns overlapping there from the Anduin. But with Jaina coming up, I still, yeah, I think this is the safer play. Thank you, take objective here. <clears throat> this has been just an absolute brawl. PRS been in control ever since uh, about the 13-16 mark. They stumbled a little bit in the beginning. Beyonce knows started out strong, but um, PRS kind of been clawing back and keeps getting picks. If you're Ragnaros, you gotta heal up before this objective. Or at least tap. You see the wave going top? I probably would have saved that for mid. Level 26 is almost coming up. Red Face Beast may be perfect on his prediction of a level 26 26 game. The stun comes out on the Anub. John Cena going in, and he's angry. But it's only a Mortal Punisher, so it's not as strong as some of the others. I think Mortar is probably the weakest of them. Ragnaros probably got into that a little bit easier. The Tongue comes out on the Anub again. A good follow-up by the KK, and he goes down. It's a 4v5 with a John Cena going crazy in the back line. They need to take this tower down or just push through. Great stun on the Anubarak coming down. Light Bomb combo again. Boomer going in there. Great Tongue there on the rag from Atlantis. John Cena with the perfect jump in, and PRS is going to be able to clean this up and take Game 2 and force a Game 3. Great combos with that Light Bomb... Uh, Light Bomb Johanna Falling Sword. Just really well done. Not quite level 26 26, unfortunately, Red Face Beast, so. Uh, I don't know if he got any points to bet, but he should lose them at this point. Holy balls, y'all. Look at the amount of soak that Ragnaros had. You think he got some value that game? 335,000 siege, 42,000 XP collected. Um, but I mean, what a what a great game from PRS. Um, really, not much to say about that. Like the combos that they were getting off with the Johanna alts and the light bombs from KK, absolutely flawless. KK doing 30, almost 40,000 more healing. They finally got to the Rhaegar that game. Killed her a couple of times. Asmodon got some value. Didn't die at all. Um, which is amazing considering how Atlantis was hitting every single tongue. Only one death for PRS uh, on the Johanna. It's going to be a really exciting game three. These are really close games. Mortar isn't the weakest of level 25. Late game, he's the hardest pusher. Really? I did not know that, uh, Raka. Red face piece loses. Uh, all right, so I'm going to switch over to um, the starting screen. So, uh, Dan, make sure you finish the predictions, please. Um, it is a weaker early game because it can die fast. 
prediction results. It's PRS. Thank you. We'll set up one more prediction for this last game. My throat is sore. I've been talking too much. Let's change the uh, change the scoreboard here, right quick. Uh, let's see. PRS. Oops. How do I? Do 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 do. Nope, that's Beyonce. <laughs> Team one. One to one in this best of three. We'll do that. And we'll go back to this. Blue, you might need a protein bar if these games are going too long in the sack. <laughs> oh shoot. This has been some good games. I'm excited that this is this has been my first experience casting because I didn't want to just watch some some team get blown out of the water. Like this is this is exciting. I'm having a lot of fun watching this. I appreciate everybody being here and, and giving me all the support for this. Hopefully, I'm doing an okay job. I'm sure I'll hear from from Winter and Dan if uh, if I fucked up uh, anything, but or messed up. Sorry. Try not to swear as much, but I get excited. It happens. Game three hype. 28 minute game so uh going back to the maps that were banned and again i don't have the screen up because i'm a pleb uh towers of doom were banned dragonshire banned battle uh field of eternity and braxis holdout were banned alterac pass uh was won in favor of beyonce Knowles, and prs just won on infernal shrine so that doesn't give us a lot of things left to play um hard to push the bets only alone i'd rather still have another fight team fight yeah New prediction for game three is online. Go out there, get your points, make me do crazy stuff. I haven't checked these in a while. Let's see, Crab Raves, 20 questions. Uh, a lot of these are from mostly when I played uh, Escape from Tarkov, which I don't typically play a whole lot of on stream anymore. Uh, my Deer onesie has been changed into a uh, Mr. Meeseeks onesie. Um, so yeah. The OG Blue Snowball. I got it uh, from one of my buddies uh, as a gift because I didn't have a mic at the time. And uh, it does the job. It produces my voice. Uh, can you wait till after the draft? Um, probably not. I think Dan had to... It's okay. Caster got it. has a lot for the occasional mess up. Yeah. Yes, but we we'll definitely let you know. <laughs> Great. Game three, Beyonce Knowles versus PRS. It's going to be played on Sky Temple. A macro map of epic proportions. Globals are super important. I love playing Falstead on, on Sky Temple. You need to flash your background. It looks like you're in a poor man's basement. The f <laughs> what? This is my house, bro. This is... A poor man's basement. I. Dang, nabbit. I'm out here providing high quality content, and you're just gonna sit here and shit on my background. I love my house, damn it. I'm a creature of the dark. I like it in the nighttime. You're gonna stand there in my chat and harass me about the things that I enjoy. I actually have a really pretty light that I wanna put behind me. But I have to fix it first, and I have to get a glue gun, and then it'll be prettier. And also, I haven't put up my LEDs yet because I just moved into this house. Um, so <laughs> I'm working on it, and I agree. I just like to give people shit. <clears throat> anyway, Sky Temple. We're getting everybody set up right now. It's always a good time for submission. Submission. Intermission? Oh, the submission store is... Yeah, yeah. Start prediction after draft. Okay, good. You can cancel it. <laughs> I'm kidding, Mittens. I, I don't take anything... Uh, don't take anything I say super seriously. I'm just kidding with you. Looks like we got the same uh, same team set up for uh, Beyonce Knowles. 
need some RGBs. Adds 30 FPS. Uh, my desk actually, it's like a gaming desk, and it does have uh, it does have RGB built in, but it's not super bright. But I kind of would like. I don't know. I don't really have a good way. I should. I can reposition my camera actually to be facing this back wall, and then I could hang some stuff up here. But uh, I, I do kind of like the way it's set up right now because my my good friend and and IRL buddy, uh, F and Wrecked, uh, I get to display his golf ball, which I think is pretty cool. And he's actually got his logo on uh, on some golf balls. Shout out to him. And then this gift I got from Mr. Toast Monster for Christmas. Um, it changes depending on what game I'm playing. Um, if I'm playing HOTS, we all know we're not having that good of a time, though. Um, so that's why the frowny face. However, if I'm playing something else, um, then I get the front. I am casting, and I am having a good, good time. So I guess the, the happy man's going to come out um, and sit there. We'll, we'll put him a little bit more on display. A lot of the other streamers are girls, though. Got, got, get some pics of hotties and throw them in the background. <laughs> we need to work on you understanding anyone. Was, we have to work on a lot of things, please. Uh, they're not showing feet. <laughs> Don't ask people to show their feet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Man, you better save some boys for the game. The last one was 29 minutes. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> and I talk a lot, too, typically. it's it's. I used to be able to stream for, like, 10, 12 hours and, and just talk continuously, but um, this is a, a new level of, of commitment to the voice chat. Uh, none of you will ever see my feet. <laughs> Sasha Fox has some cute feet pics. Good lord. What is this chat? Toenail? Can I take off my toenail and show it to you? They were selling banners for the Miami Ion this weekend. Big Hots banners. That'd be cool. I actually have a... Um, I have an LED uh, Overwatch light that my buddy made me for work. Um... And it's, it's super cool. He actually 3D printed it and then put LEDs around it. I think I'm going to move my camera um, to face the opposite way towards this inner wall because there is so much behind me that no matter what pack, what I put back there, it's not going to uh, you're not going to see it very well. Thank you for the follow, Cranky. Appreciate you coming by, brother. <clears throat> uh, update on the game. Still in lobby waiting. Uh, apparently everybody's gone to the bio, so um, we're just kind of sitting around waiting for a moment. And... Uh, I am actually going to run to the bathroom myself, so I will be right back. Appreciate you, Cranky. They're not playing a game without telling Blue, alright? We're getting back into a game three. We're tied one to one. Uh, obviously, Knowles won, PRS won. That's how the breakdown of two points goes when a score is tied. <clears throat> Delta Sniper, on a side note, he said Sky Temple is a macro map. Well, I think it is a more objective map that plays macro for you. Also, Abathur's best map. I didn't sit casually walk away. Does anybody listen to the stream? <laughs> I said I was going to the bathroom. I even left a note that I was going to the bathroom. I, I, I you know what, chat? The heck with you. We have the Tassar band coming out of Boomer. And PRS. Boboski, Bobinski, Bobinski, Bobinski banning for the Knolls. And they decide to take out the Johanna this time. A wise decision. 
least I can see the room better. <laughs> Must be some insider knowledge from PRS on Beyonce Knowles to take out a Sumero on this map. And Rhaegar being banned out uh, for the Knowles. First pick, are we going to see a healer come out? The Stukov, perhaps? I think KK's best healer is that Stukov. Would not be surprised to see it here. Although, with the global being super good. There you go. There's the Dahaka. Orphea Muradin coming out of uh, Beyonce Knowles. Triple globals for PRS. I love this. Loving this. Hold on, can you explain how a tie works again? What? There is no ties. It's a best of three. And I haven't been playing since beta, so Delta Sniper will have to, to break that down for you. Last bands, the Tychus, Alnols, and Asonia for PRS. You see the offlane blaze coming out of Bobinski. And we're gonna see a lot of Anduin Murad and Light Bomb combos. Much like Johanna and Anduin did for PRS last game. I want to play with anyone, and I bet ten dollars you're casting tomorrow. I'm not uh, currently casting tomorrow. Is there somebody I should be? Wait, am I doing okay? I don't know. I have no frame of reference. <laughs> I have absolutely nothing to go off of. A Nubarak coming out for PRS and the Li Ming. Kind of a double mage here. Um, a lot of people call Falstad a mage. Uh, if you go Q build, I call him a mage too. Would have been interesting to see a Cho'Gal, but we see uh, a Nazebo uh, coming out for the Knolls. You can sort of tie on this map with the laser going, pew, laser going pew pew together. Really? I did not know that. Yeah, no, no Cholgal. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Game three. Let's get to it. Beyonce Knowles 1, Phoenix Rising, Sapphire 1. We have a Blaze, Orphean, Azebo, Anduin, and Murden coming out of the Knowles. And we have Falstead, Brightwing, Leeming, Dahaka, and Anubarak. Three globals for PRS, who should never be behind in Soak on this map. I would prepare for your ceaseless battle. These two teams don't snowball. They can snowball. They just haven't yet. I appreciate you, Redface. Three bucks says it lasts till level 21. We have three bucks on Mittens to go to level 21. I'll drop my cast right now. From Rocco. The prediction's gone up. Thank you, Dan. Everybody go, go, go. Predict. Four, three, two. Left to right, we have the Knolls. Right to left, we have PRS. Do whatever it is you do. And one very condescending caster. Let's go. Vision going to be taken here by the Knolls. Little oil slick comes down. Careful there, Murden. It's slippery. And let's see how the air ram goes. It's a 4v5 already. Blaze is starting top. Damage being exchanged. Atlantis is absolutely on point with those tongues tonight. A good follow up there by the Anubarak. Shift going down. And PRS yet again, pretty much winning the early intimidation fight mid, but losing in soak. Dahaka's going top after taking vision. We're going to see the Falstead uh, going bottom with the Anub and the Ming. Um, early one talents. We have third wind out of the uh, Muradin. 
We have Blessings coming out of a noob. I actually don't see that one nearly as much. Camps here being taken by PRS and, uh, and the Knolls. Soak being caught mid. Uh, again, going on the line for the Orphea. We have Ancestral Strength. Blaze going Adrenaline Stim Pack. Q build out of Falstead, which is my personal favorite. Hyper Shift, of course, out of the Brightwing. Uh, Aether Walker, potentially for uh, the all impressive. <laughs> uh, oh lord, what is it called? Calamity build out of Li Ming. Um, enhanced Agility, and then Beetles. PRS looking for an engage here. It's a 4v4, but the Falsa was a little bit behind. <clears throat> I think if Falsa's there, they could have really, uh, really pulled that off, but... More just keeping, keeping Knolls on their toes. Gonna see how this lane, uh, is going here on top. Looks like Atlantis is, uh, pretty much always at half health. It's kind of how he's been all game, uh, all series. Half health until it matters, and then he just kind of wins. We have the Knolls doing well, taking their camp in a timely manner. Side piece KK there in the mid. <clears throat> in the bottom. Looks like PRS is going to be pushing with this camp, leaming with some great poking abilities. Spiders might be the most irritating thing in the game right now out of the uh, Zebo. That camp is not going to get a lot of value, but what is are those balls landing on the face of that Muradin. Hey, Fergus. Jeez, man, you, uh, you played really, really well that first game. Really, really well. This has been a great series to watch. I appreciate you coming by, and thanks for the follow, man. There's better structure damage boss control at Orphea. Played a little weird last game. Orphea doesn't have the stasis. Yeah. A decent value here coming out of this camp. Almost taking down that first tower in the sidewall, but uh, Global's got there in just the nick of time. Going to see Beyonce Knowles taking control of this first point while Nazebo is pushing bottom. Someone's going to have to respond to that Nazebo on the bottom lane. You can't just let him keep pushing or he's going to take everything. You see the uh, PRS taking control of this top point. I personally think the top point gets a little bit more value in the long run. Uh, PRS pushing with this camp. Someone's going to need to get here for the Knowles to defend this. It can't just be Dablinski if we get a tongue out here and he does. Stung comes out. Boomer could dive in and get that kill. The other tank comes by, but it's just a couple of tanks. Both DPS are just preoccupied doing other things. The shift comes out from the bright wing. And Mean Bean with the Polymorph here is going to go down. Or, or not. A miraculous save there by Lucina. Great healing, great pull. Not first blood yet, but the first keep goes down. Objective still being capped. Oh, they have... All they have to do is stand on it for one more second and get to get four shots there. So they've exchanged uh, objectives. Up, oh, Falstead left the map. Magic left the game. Thanks for the follow, Delta Sniper. Uh, I'm going to switch it over here to full screen so nothing uh, shady happens. Looks like the Falstead for the null, uh, for PRS left. <laughs> I almost think this is this is going to become a tactic. They're, they're pretending that they're not there, but they're really there. We can do a rundown of the talents. Oh, no, we can't, because we can't see them. So that doesn't really do you guys a lot of good. does me some good. I can look at the talents. Look at all these talents I can look at that you can't. Uh, game crashed uh, for the Falstad, so he's going to be booting back up. So we have just a little break in the action. <clears throat> Gives me a little bit of time to look at the map. So the top forward is gone here for the Knolls. Mazebo didn't really get a lot of value bottom for not being there for the entire objective. Um, also missing a lot of soak mid, so I think PRS kind of wins that first objective. And uh, we'll kind of break in the action, and I don't want to see my big stupid face. We're going to go to this instead. Uh, we're going to go to this, and then that way I can change the text to say, uh, we could say, game crashed for player. Reloading. Stand by. And now it's too big. Now, now the text is too big. Ta da. Sorries are being exchanged. LOLs across the board for both teams. The chat has remained quiet. It's definitely strategizing. Uh. 
Uh, gentleman is asking if uh, anybody's heard any good jokes recently. Uh, he ran out of his good ones to tell at work. Nice to see that uh, his teammate is employed. Um, someone says, what does the farmer say when he lost his tractor? Uh, and he says, oh no, my tractor. Uh, that was not the correct answer. So what does the farmer say when he lost his tractor? Um, waiting for a response. If you have any good responses, let me know in chat. Uh, oh, it actually was, oh, where's my tractor? Um, so that's the worst dad joke I've heard in a while. <clears throat> Are we raiding Amaranth after the stream? <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> someone asked, uh, what is brown and sticky? Uh, and someone said, poop. So, we're adults here. Uh, this is, this is good. We're adults playing a game. And <laughs> it looks like uh, PRS is ready. We're going to be starting again here soon. <laughs> These guys crack me up. All right. Go back to main here. Just imagine lurking all of a sudden hearing that tongue action. Tongue action uh, wins games, let me tell you. Atlantis is, is playing out of his mind with those tongues. He's playing really well. They're ready. We're going to start going back to the game. And PRS is down their sevens, and it looks like uh, maybe the Knolls are looking for a fight. Looking for a rotation. That's a good spot there from Bean. Q build out of Falstead, getting some value. Everybody going back to their perspective lanes. Atlantis facing this uh, Nazebo down here. PRS going to be taking their camp. Mi Ming not exactly known for her incredible uh, camp speed. And it looks like Li Ming did go Calamity. Show you guys a brief breakdown of the talents here. While they exchange some blows here on the uh, on the point. Trying to get that vision. Good stun out of the Muradin, but not a lot of follow-up. There's just no damage here with it. Nazebo has not really stacked this quest. Spiders can be super strong, but if you don't get that to 100 stacks in a hurry, you're going to be uh, missing a lot of value. And when you look at all the stacks across the board, Falstad's only got six. Um, you know, uh, the, the Haka's not really stacking very well. Orpheus online immediately with that build. Um, so nothing... There hasn't been a lot of team fighting. A lot of macro. What happened was Nomad gets mad, he has a meltdown. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Time him out. We see Boomer trying to invade this by himself. It looks like his DPS is here, but the camp has already been taken, so it's really not worth it. Objective is on bottom here. Atlanta's taking a lot of damage. Orphea doing some work. Zebo's got to go back. Both tanks are mid, coming down. Going to be a little bit late to the party. Wrecked very intelligently is not face-checking that bush. You never know what could be lurking. Now, don't do me wrong by face-checking that bush. <clears throat> Orphea is going in, checking bushes. Big value out of Li Ming, hitting everything. The Haka double soaking right now. They really need 10. PRS can't really fight this. They just kind of have to maintain. Maintain the course. Blaze. <laughs> Both tanks very much showing that, hey, yes, we're here, and uh, you should not be near us. Good engage there after both stuns come out. Um, the Orphea out comes out, light bombs coming out, hits nothing. <clears throat> but they are standing that Orphea ult. Massive value. What is that? Seven, eight times, nine times out of that Orphea ult. But at the end of the day, PRS is coming up on top. They're a little battled and bruised. But the Muradin is down and Boomer is in there and he's taking names. A good tongue comes out from the Tahaka and he gets blown up. That Orphea went bye-bye in a hurry. KK doing the best she can to keep everybody alive, but they are firmly on this point now. Lane Pryo top has been huge. Pushing this first fort of this camp is going to get a lot of value if that's not responded to right away and the Muradin has to go back. And if I am uh, PRS right now, I'm leaving somebody here and going with... Going to other lanes. You have enough of my <laughs> if 10's kind of popped, that's that last objective came up, so just briefly going over that while well, PRS kind of takes this keep just for free. We have the Avatar coming out of the Murder and Light Bomb, obviously, out of the Anduin. Uh, here we have some. Uh, 
What is that called? The Ravenous Spirit. I usually take Gargantron. The Ravenous Spirit coming out of the Zebo Chop, which we saw, or the Internal Feast, rather. It does a choppy thing. You know what I meant, right? You know it was a chop thing. Coming out of Rafia. Getting big value in that last fight. Bunker um, coming out of the blaze. And we have Falstead with the Gust, an absolute must with this particular boss. The Blink Heal, Wave of Force, Isolation, and Cocoon coming out of the Anubarak. Hello, Cam. Welcome. Thanks for coming by, buddy. Um, so, we have another lull in the action. Everybody going to sit lanes, collect soak. Uh, both teams split off to do their camps uh, prospectively. Both bruiser camps done there. Falstad doing that. Tahak had taken soak. Li Ming putting the hurt on those poor minions who just came to work looking for a job for their families and unfortunately going to come home without any money. We have a little bit of a fight going on down here. Maybe trying to get a pick on Boomer, but um, nothing happening. Zebo taking the camp. How many stacks in the Zebo at these days? 43, but 88. Uh, typically we want 10 a minute, so he's a little bit behind, but you can really double soak this map in a hurry if you're trying. He's pretty much just been sitting bottom lane, which is kind of strange. We have a little bit of a fight going on up top. Good tongue there again by Atlantis. Just showing him who's boss. I can't believe they have let him pick the, pick the Haka three times in a row. Little bit of a uh, melee down here. Not much happening though. I'd like to see side piece step up and, and go for the hammers more so on the enemies as opposed to the waves. God, Only 17 stacks right now. You really need to get that full that quest fully done to get the extra bonus damage. But PRS in a good spot to take this bottom fort or bottom uh, bottom objective rather. Atlantis yet again winning against the blaze. Um, Noel's just going to let that one go and, and go take the other one, which I think is a wise decision. They are fully, fully bunkered in meta, uh, metaphorically down there. Of course, Blaze has the bunker. This is smart. Going to leave side piece down here off the global. You're going to see the other guys kind of walk up, start doing a little bit of damage, maybe poking the subjective. It's a 2v4 right now, though. It can't get too aggressive here. Really, really important uh, cleanse there from KK. Good tongue on the Orphea from Atlantis, but no follow-up. That's okay. It's going to be a 5v4 right now. Falstead just got the final shot, so he's going to be flying in shortly. Falstead's going to be late at the party, but here he comes now. And the blink going down on the Anurak. Again, the Feast is just doing a massive amount of damage. Getting huge value, but nothing has died yet. Bunker comes out. KK doing all she can to keep everybody as healthy as possible. Gets hit by the Orphea E, but still remains alive. Everybody in the bunker now doing as best they can. Boomer coming in with the stuns. The Muradin's out of the fight right now. It's a 4v5. 5v5 now, but everybody's battled and bruised. And after all that, all that action, all the alts being down, everything used except the uh, the gust there, um, nothing happens. They all just kind of walk away and uh, go do their camps. Someone's going to hearth. And now, I think we're going to see a boss fight. Now I think is when we're going to see the all-important who's going to win the game boss fight. Orphea. Or Orphea, we got Orphea. Hey, we got we got to talk about that alt Orphea. What what was that? Your last two alts have hit everything 800 times. Panic button coming out of the Anduin. and a great follow-up stuns there from PRS was unable to finish that kill. I lied to you, chat. Atlantis again with the tongue. I keep saying it, but it's still relevant. Every time he's hit a tongue, it's been absolutely massive. The man has got the team on his back right now and just getting picks left and right. Blaze is going to the top lane. Orphea's going to wish she had Feast up, but she does in seven seconds, but it's going to be far too late, and unfortunately they're not going to be able to even contest this boss. Great boss call here. <clears throat> it's a 4v5 still. PRS wants to take this fight, especially if the boss pushing him lane prial across the board. They're going to take this camp. <clears throat> Beyonce Knowles looking to clear this boss and just minima uh, minimize the amount of damage being done here. Objectives comes up. I wonder if we're going to see anybody from PRS going to peel off there. 16s are online. The stun comes out of the Bobinski on Boomer, but a good poly by KK just to let them walk away. 
<clears throat> there is a lot of camps here. They got the whole armada here ready to throw on rocks. Boomer just kind of hanging out. Another stun comes out on there, and there's a follow-up stun, and he's dead. But unfortunately for the Knolls, KK is on top of it. <laughs> a very solid hold there from, from Beyonce Knolls. Good. I mean, you're not going to keep your wall, that's for sure. But they did as best they could. They didn't lose anybody here. There's 16s, and now they can take a nice fight. I need this to hock in my life. Same. Bobinski misses the uh, the stun there, and Murden misses his stun, so they have no stuns right now. If I'm Boomer, I'm in this thing. Another another great pull, and that's it. I mean, that's it for him. Another cocoon coming down on the Murden. Or if he gets the alt off, but it's too late. And now Murden has to try to pop his avatar and run from his life. Light Bomb comes out and does hit a lot of things. Boomer taking a lot of damage. KK with a great shift in. Saves him at the last minute, and he's ready for more. He's looking for that engage. A good stun out of the, uh, out of the Dahaka. And just great follow-up plays by PRS. KK with an incredible save there to keep their tank alive. Replace, and nobody can replace, <laughs> replace you, Winter. Oh. Uh, we're gonna watch PRS take this camp. My voice is sore. Oh lord, this has been this has been a great game. I'd like to see PRS push this wall right now. If two down and they have the spell shield here with the beetles, they could take a take down this entire wall, and maybe they will already. But they got to be careful here not to get stunned. Yeah, side piece running out. Huh? They're uh, they're in trouble. Boomer's in trouble rather. But he gets out. Gets outside piece and uh, and Boomer traveling together. Tag team in that middle wave. You see the rest of PRS taking that top camp. Falstad starting the camp there. The whole map is red right now, and Beyonce knows just on damage control. They have to get 20 before this next objective. If they have any uh, any chance of contesting it. it. Looks like the Muradin has been pinged. Blaze is top, and they see it. Blaze is top and PRS are all here ready to take this fight. It's a 4v5. Tongue yet again. The kid's insane! This is the best the Haka I've ever seen! The light bomb comes out but hits nobody because the Murden has to run away. Boomer's engaging. KK getting the blink in to save the Boomer. A lot of follow-up stuns there on the Murden. The Murden goes down. Andon comes out with a stun on, uh, on Boomer. You see Dahaka go on top, Dig is down. You're gonna see Falstad on objective here. Really smart play out of PRS. Global is just coming in so huge here right now. But it looks like Bobinski's gonna try to get a stun here. It's a 3v4, so this is a good fight for them to take, although they're down 20s. Bunker goes down. It just kind of scares them away. PRS very intelligently gets off of the death bridge, especially if that uh, than a Zebo. You do not want to be on a bridge with a Zebo. You got four people on bottom here. Wrecked getting a little bit of a, a chunk damage off their blaze. Big chunk again. The resets, oh my gosh, the Sli Ming resets are huge. Light Bomb comes out. Uh, big gust coming out there for uh, Falstad. Almost the first gust I think we've seen. I don't remember seeing any gusts. And, uh, and PRS is just kind of cleaning them up. The Anub goes down, but it's a 2-1 to one, uh, kill in favor of PRS. You see both the Blaze and Nazebo going down there for uh, for the Nulls. And it looks like uh, PRS got both objectives. The light fades from my temple. I may have to reevaluate my identity here for the Haka. It may be. Now, Gust is down. It's a 3v4. Um... Unfortunately, though, the Orphea is still alive, and you do not want to be trying to take that objective with the Orphea online. And now that they're 20, um, this could be a little spicy, unless Atlantis hits this. Now Atlantis got that, gets the tongue on the Muradin, and unfortunately for the Nulls, Orphea has to pop her ult just to kind of keep her tank alive. 
Great stun there on the Murden, and, and Dehaka finally goes down, and KK is running for her life. This is suddenly, you see the Knoll's in a good position to take this boss. If Falstead has gust up, which he does, they're just waiting for this, and Sidepiece could be winning the game right here if this gust. Oh, but he was too late! He was too late! No! Oh, PRS of a big opportunity miss there. And now the Knolls have a power play, if you will. They got the boss, and they're down, and they're up a man, going into a 4v5 here. They also take this camp, and PRS has to be careful here. A lot of damage going on on the Murden, but he's going to be able to hear up. PRS has to sit behind this wall and just clear as best they can. Good miss there. Or good dodge, rather, out of Boomer. PRS does have some pretty solid wave clear. Bunker goes down. There's going to be Siege in the wall. Looks like this boss is going down. It shouldn't really take the fort. Lane Pryo across the board for PRS getting some huge value. You're going to have two catapults on core right now. Uh, so someone's going to have to go back and respond to that. A good hold by PRS. A great stun out of the uh, out of the Anubarak. Life bomb going out. Anubarak is going down. You see the Anduin getting credit for that kill. Mean Beans charging him with no mana. That's very risky. Guardians. Catapults approaching core. Catapult doing a little bit of damage on that mid tower. Knowles in control yet again. They're uh, 4v5. PRS, if they're going to want to take one of these, have to send everybody there. Knowles doing a really good job turning this around, taking some good fights. Mean Bean kind of caught out of position, though. If he gets a tongue, it's all over for him. No mana is super risky. You see the Nazebo all coming out there. Atlantis is all alone, though. Really needs that shift to get off, and unfortunately not in time. The Dahaka goes down, and now it's a 3v5. And this is starting to slip away from PRS. And Falstad's taking a look at this middle lane. You see Bobinski getting the bunker down. Murden's going to be late rotating there, but he's doing the best he can. He's got no mana. Oh no, Falstead gets stunned. Great Gus. That is a very good peel. That is the right decision. Nobody's got a lot of mana. Both Falstead and KK are on fumes right now. A noob is online and 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 I don't I don't know what he's doing. There's somebody there. A noob. What are you doing? What are you doing, friend? Your team has no mana. Oh my gosh. This man gonna give me a heart attack. PRS, uh, PRS going to be taking their uh, their quest here. We're going to check the talents here. Looks like, um, actually, no quests have been completed. None of them. Across the board, no quest complete. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Falstead's uh, completed his quest. But that's it. The Zebo still hasn't finished the spiders. Anduin hasn't finished that. And Dahaka hasn't finished his level one. Knowles, I think in the driver's seat here. I mean, this is dead even. This is as close of a game as you could possibly ever have. You got both camps fighting up here. You got this at 1199 HP. This is at 1500 HP. We're going to have a fight here possibly on this camp. Nope, they're just going to take that and go. The leap comes in there. He's got no leap. He's got absolutely no escape. They could just blow him up. Oh, that tongue would have potentially ended it for him. I would not be surprised if your second job is to play by the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers, if anybody's watching, sign me up. I'm ready. Put me in the big leagues, folks. It really looks like Beyonce Knowles wants to take a fight here. The leap comes in, the stun comes out, and the Anubis getting hit a bunch, but also Light Bomb comes out, but he doesn't have a leap. A great, great miss there uh, by Atlantis. The bunker comes out, a lot of damage being done. The Anub comes in. I mean, alts across the board, they're pressing R as fast as they can. KK doesn't quite have the, the time to get the shift down. That's exactly what you needed. Just to stay alive right now. The Gust comes out, the, the Eternal Feast getting huge value yet again. Once they clump up, it's hard to get out with an Anduin Bomb. That's a really nice combo. But PRS has to take... Uh, 
the PRS has to take one of these. They can't just uh, let them have both. Looks like Orfea gonna be alone on the bottom. So it's gonna be a 4v4 here. The Knoll's gonna have both tanks. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's a uh, 4v3. Knolls have to be very careful here. But with the Globals, they can be in that bottom lane in a hurry. You see the Orfea coming up and she's gonna be late for the party. Mean Bean has been running on fumes and it might start costing him here. He's got no mana left. Orfea uh, Jones to fight now. Big Q value out of that. The stun goes down and hits damn near everybody. Eternal Feast comes out and hits nothing. A great little uh, move there. But unfortunately, this camp, I think, just wins it. I think PRS just loses. And that's it. Sort of unclimatically, un it uh, that's not even a word. But the game just ends. They just take objective, and that's it. You see, Beyonce knows taking a 2-1. to one. What a game. What, I mean, I'm just, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I, I was just cast, I wasn't even playing. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Unreal. What a match. So I'm going to see if I can get an uh, uh, interview here from somebody. Let me see if I can pull out the, uh, the captain. Uh, for that team, who I know who that is. Hang on. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let's see if we can get that gentleman in here, or lady, or whomever that person is. <clears throat> um, wow, what a what a series! What an incredible, incredible series! I appreciate everybody coming by and, and supporting these two awesome teams. It was it was just a battle, just an absolute melee of a match. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can get Bobinski. I believe he's the captain in here. We all need a cigarette, yeah, Bobinski. GG's KK. That was that was an incredible game. Interview Lucina. <laughs> uh. We're gonna have Bobinski come in here and uh, and say a few things. I ask him some questions. I have no questions to ask, but um, I'm gonna ask him some, and we'll see uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> We all need a cigarette. Let's see here. Let's see if he's do 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 waiting for him to join NGS chat so I can pull him in. There he is. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Pretty good. I I'm tired for you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. I, that was an incredible series. I mean, everybody in chat was losing their mind. The back and forth that everybody had, um, just just an awesome game. Um, what what was the comms like? Uh, just out of curiosity, that last game on the boss fight there. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, like uh, I think we we thought they were gonna be boss, and uh, we called it out, and we went there. It was uh, we we're kind of like. We were asking about gusts. We are like, oh, do they use gusts? And we are like, oh, maybe they used it wrong because we're capping. 
I don't know. That was kind of weird. We were talking about gusts a lot. I don't really remember. We were all like pretty excited. Yeah, the um, the gust came out just a moment too late, and you guys were able to steal that. And I think that was kind of the deciding factor for you guys in that game. Um, yeah. You know, early draft, it looked like. Uh, it looked like PRS was just going to be able to get the XP lead, and you guys did a really good job keeping up, even with them having three globals. Um, but just just a wonderful game. Um, is there anything that your team kind of saw as a weakness of PRS that you were trying to exploit, or was you just kind of playing to your strengths? Uh, we were mostly just trying to play to comfort picks, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think their Anubarak was a little deep. That's like the one thing we noticed is like, we didn't really capitalize on it too much. Yep. But that's like the one thing we noticed we could really like uh, fight or like uh, punish a little bit. But I mean, I don't even think we did that too much. But uh, the Anubarak was pretty deep. I do think they kept going for boss because I think also in game one, they went for a boss and that was probably... I, I think if they hadn't gone for that boss, they would have just probably won that game. It gave us momentum, I think. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, both boss fights, I think, in Game 1 and Game 3 were kind of the deciding factors for PRS, where they seemed to be kind of leading the entire time, and then you guys win one very decisive team fight, and that changes the whole momentum. Um, yeah, especially that, that boss fight in Game 1. Um, uh, to be honest with you, that Game 1 seems like it was a year and a half ago. I, I, I can't even believe yeah. that happened tonight. Um, yeah. Super long games, super taxing. Yeah. Um, just a, a great win for you guys. How is your season going uh, so far? Uh, this is our first win. This is your first one. Well, congratulations. It is <laughs> certainly certainly well earned. You guys faced a tough team, and uh, I think I think you guys have a, a good future in, in Div E. I think you guys are going to do great. Oh, thank you. So I will uh, I'll keep an eye out for you guys. Maybe we can cast some more of your games. I appreciate you letting me do this and and coming in for an interview, and hopefully have a.